Today is December 25th. My name is Hunter, and we are on a journey into the loving heart of God. We meet here each day on this podcast to read from the Revised Common Lectionary to reflect and to pray. We start today in Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. Then we go to Psalm 96, Titus chapter 2, verses 11 through 14, and we'll finish in Luke's Gospel chapter 2, verses 1 through 14 and 15 through 20. We're reading from the New Living Translation, Isaiah chapter 9. The people who walked in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. You will enlarge the nation of Israel, and its people will rejoice. They will rejoice before you, as people rejoice at the harvest, and like warriors dividing the plunder. For you will break the yoke of their slavery, and lift the heavy burden from their shoulders. You will break the oppressor's rod, just as you did when you destroyed the army of Midian. The boots of the warrior and the uniforms blood-stained by war will all be burned. They will be fuel for the fire. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us, the government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of Heaven's armies will make this happen. Psalm 96 Sing a new song to the Lord. Let the whole earth sing to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, praise His name, each day proclaim the good news that He saves. Publish His glorious deeds among the nations, tell everyone about the amazing things He does. Great is the Lord, He is the most worthy of praise, He is to be feared above all gods. The gods of other nations are mere idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty surround Him, strength and beauty fill His sanctuary, O nations of the world, recognize the Lord. Recognize that the Lord is glorious and strong. Give to the Lord the glory He deserves. Bring your offering and come into His courts. Worship the Lord in all His holy splendor. Let the earth tremble before Him. Tell all the nations, the Lord reigns. The world stands firm and cannot be shaken. He will judge all peoples fairly. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and everything in it shout His praise. Let the fields and their crops burst out with joy. Let the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for He is coming. He is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and the nations with truth. Titus 2, 11 through 14. For the grace of God has been revealed, bringing salvation to all people. And we are instructed to turn from godless living and sinful pleasures. We will live in this evil world with wisdom, righteousness, and devotion to God, while we look forward with hope to that glorious day when the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be revealed. He gave His life to free us from every kind of sin, to cleanse us, and to make us His very own people totally committed to doing good deeds. Luke 2, 1-14 At that time the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for this census, And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, to whom he was engaged, who is now expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. That night, 
There were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, and you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in a manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished, but Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. But Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had seen and heard. It was just as the angel had told them. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we might not fall into sin or be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit on all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace, where there is hatred let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O oh Lord, grant that I might not seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in the giving that we receive, in the pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in the dying that we are born unto eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your grateful children, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. And above all, for your immeasurable love and your redemption of the world 
through our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and the hope of glory. Lord, we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but with our lives, by the giving up of ourselves for your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And now as our Lord has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for spending another day with us at the Daily Lectionary Podcast. Let me also invite you to join us at our flagship podcast, The Daily Radio Bible, where we read through the entire Bible over the course of a year. But more than that, what we desire most is to see and be transformed by the God who is love. Find out more at dailyradiobible.com or wherever you get your podcasts. Now let's go forward in God's joy. Let his joy be your strength. And let us always remember this, that you are loved.